It's time for the Half Hour to Health with Dr. Bob and Debbie DeMaria. Call a friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and informative program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob and Debbie DeMaria. Welcome once again to our Half Hour of Health program. Are you concerned that you're going to end up like your mom or your dad? I say, what do you mean, Dr. Bob? Alzheimer's and dementia. I know that there are a lot of people right now that do not have a clue of why their parents have lost their minds. You say, well, that's not very nice, Dr. Bob. Well, it happens. I mean, it happens in our practice all the time. I have so many of our patients that have pay parents that their brain just starts to dysfunction. So what do you think is causing all this? There are several reasons that I have observed over my career. I think number one, exhausted adrenal glands. The adrenal glands move minerals in the body. And when I do hair analysis on our patients, I've noticed individuals who have weak adrenal gland function now, the adrenal glands are glands located on top of your kidneys. There are a pair of glands. These are the glands, if I yelled, fire, fire, you would run really, really fast. What's happening in our society today is that our brains are hearing fire, 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 fire all the time. What compounds the problem is that when people eat sugar, sugar will cause more fire, 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 and exhaustion to the adrenal glands. So the adrenal glands, if they're exhausted, and I'm telling you, I see this all the time in mineral tissue analysis, and if you would like to have a mineral tissue analysis, just go to our website. We do them for clients all over the world. One of the websites that are on the screen right now, drugglessdoctor.com, would be awesome. And we could do a mineral tissue analysis to you. But if your adrenal glands are low, which we observe with low sodium and potassium on the hair analysis, we always see high aluminum because as we know they feel that aluminum is a part of the process but I believe that what I just shared with you is a little bit more definitive. Another reason I believe that we have issues with uh, Alzheimer's and dementia it's because of not necessarily these brands but trans fat from Crisco oil and or the food that you're eating and the trans fat that's found in peanut butter. Now, it's not just peanut butter. I'm trying to make a point. It's trans fat, period. You say, okay, Dr. Bob, what is trans fat? Well, very fascinating. I've been really fortunate. I wrote a book about trans fat. It's called Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide. I'm going to give you a two-minute synopsis. Back in the late 1800s, there was a French scientist who was trying to develop a new way to make wax for candles. So he was very ingenious, took vegetable oil, heated it, added a catalyst to it, and hydrogen. And what he developed was an oil that was semi-solid, but it just didn't do exactly what he wanted to do to make a wax candle. So they put it on the shelf, nobody thought too much about it. World War II came, and the American soldiers were over in Europe, they wanted them to have butter. So the scientists, somebody along the line must have read, about this concoction back, back in France. So they pulled it off the shelf and they took this, what we could say is goop, they added yellow dye to it to make it look like butter. Well, that was the beginning of what we call oleomargarine. And oleomargarine is, as we know today, margarine. So when the gentleman heated the oil, a normal fat molecule is C shape. A normal fat molecule looks like this. But when they heated the molecule, it became a T shape. Well, cell membranes are made up of C's. You cannot interlock C's and T's. It confuses the body. So what I found from my experience is this. Your brain sends messages down a layer of fat called the myelin sheath. That's the fat that's on the nerves where your brain sends messages down. Well, what happens to the myelin sheath is that when you add trans fat to it, it confuses the body, it confuses the brain. 
So you say, well, Dr. Bob, so what are you telling me? What I'm sharing with you is if you or your family members eat trans fat in the form of pastries, breakfast cereals, peanut butter, croissants, most of your restaurants have trans fat in them, it's going to confuse your body. Now let me share this one thought. We now have the ability, science has finally caught up with this whole concept of fat metabolism in your brain. I can actually, anywhere in the world right now, have you receive a kit and we can do an essential fatty acid test to you. What does that mean, Dr. Bob? Well, there's different kinds of fats in your body. We can assess those fats. We can determine if you have highs or low levels. I treat some very serious conditions in our practice. And we had one patient that attempted to commit suicide three times. Well, when we did the assessment to this individual's blood, we found out that they had low good fat for the brain called DHA. That's called docosahexanoic acid. Their DHA was low, but they had really high, there's french fries in here, they had really high trans fat. We changed their diet, supplemented accordingly, all their emotions quieted down. If this person would have continued on with that diet of trans fat and sugar, which we'll talk about in a moment, the next step is not only would they have some issues with that depression, they would have continued on anxiety, add 20 years to it, then you start to see dementia and Alzheimer's. So I believe in my heart that people who have dementia and Alzheimer's have had very poor diets focusing on trans fatty acids. Wow, Dr. Bob. But let okay, so this is very serious. Of course it is. It is. I don't I want to know my name. I want to know who you are. I want to know my children and my grandchildren. And Well, you know your name, but what you're saying to these people is what we have found is as people have Alzheimer's and dementia, they forget their name. Well, exactly. Well, that's what I mean. I want to know it. I don't want to forget it. So, the thing is is not only does this affect things like this Alzheimer's, dementia, but what about depression? I think there's a link there. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. That, uh, this person that I told you about that we did the essential fatty acid testing to, and we've had guests on in the past who've been depressed. When we take and have them, we could do an assessment with an essential fatty acid blood spot test. It's a simple lancet. You could just do it in the comfort of your own home. Uh -huh. You send it to a lab. We look for this fat called DHA. So right now, somebody's watching us, Debbie, and they have depression issues, and they don't like being on antidepressants. Antidepressants are very tough. But I can share one other thought with you. A good percentage of the people who are depressed also have low thyroid function. What causes low thyroid function, Dr. Bob? Well, bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, not enough iodine. 72% of the people in the world today don't have enough iodine, so there are so many possibilities. But depression, unless you get to the root cause of it, you can take two or three different meds every day, Deb. Well, you know, Dr. Bob, one of the books that we had written about was about ADHD. And I know, as you keep talking, DHA was something really big in the ADHD book. I mean, it, so does this follow along the same pattern, the dementia, the depression, ADHD? Well, it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Let me just share this with you. What you eat becomes you. So we promote flax oil. Flax oil is an omega-3 fat precursor. Mm -hmm. But also greens, lettuce, walnuts are also a part, green beans are part of the food groups that become DHA. Now here, it's going to be really simple for you all. The food has to go through steps, but what we learn, now watch this, sugar can cause a challenge for some of you because sugar takes minerals and vitamins out of the body. So as this flax oil is going through the steps, if you're eating sugar, it's no longer do you have minerals, so your body cannot make exactly what Debbie just said, DHA, docosahexanoic acid. DHA is a long-chain fat that envelops your brain, helps calm everything down, 
helps take away depression. So you could see that someone could have depression and ADHD just from this alone, Deb. But I think that the part that is so significant is trans fat, which is found in fries, which is found in peanut butter, has something called a half-life. Mm -hmm. The half-life of trans fatty acids is 51 days. That means if you're sitting there right now and you had a peanut butter sandwich today that had trans fat or partial hydrogenated oils, it's going to cause havoc in your brain for not only 51 days, because that's the half-life, it's going to cause half havoc for 102, because 51 and 51 happens to be 102. But the half-life of good fat is 18 days. That means if you change your diet and you do everything that we taught you about doing in this book, Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Bal Dr. Bob's Guide to Stop ADHD in 18 Days, the half-life of this good oil will give you improvement in two and a half weeks, Deb. Well, Dr. Bob, I think that what you're saying is we have seen it happen. I mean, we've seen changes in, in front of us. But what I want to point out is you need to become label savvy because if you look at your novelty ice cream bars or cakes or whatever, your cakes, like um, the packaged cakes that they have and cookies, um, crackers, if you look at snack foods, not always necessarily your bagged uh, chips and corn chips, which of course also have it, but different types of brands of boxed snacks or, or uh, silicones that they are in round and you can get those. And, um, sometimes even nuts, mixtures of nuts have it in there. So, Dr. Bob, it's an array of foods. We can't even just list one sort of food and you go look at that aisle and you're eliminated. I think there's been soups that I have seen, uh, box soups. You have to read the label, not just one time, but every time you purchase it. Well, here's, the, here's something that's kind of interesting. You probably are aware that there's a rule out there now that says a package can have zero grams trans fat on the front. You'll see it just proudly displayed. Zero grams trans fat. If you use a magnifying glass, you can see below it, it's going to say per serving. So people are programmed, trans fat is the bad guy. Back in 1998, they did and released a study. It's called the Nurses Study. And they did a study with 100,000 nurses. And they found that if those nurses ate a gram of trans fat or more per day, it increases their chance of having a heart attack, heart problems by 20%. So when they changed the rule many years ago, they said if a product has a half a gram of trans fat or less per serving, hear what I just said, a half a gram of trans fat or less per serving, they could legally say zero grams trans fat. But the research showed if you do one gram of trans fat, it increases your chances of having heart disease by 20%. So some of you right now have been misinformed, so I'm trying to reinform you to avoid trans fat altogether. We have more to talk about. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Hello, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria inviting you to come to Nick Abraham Auto Mart. Do you know that Nick has been in Elyria for over 28 years? And my family have purchased vehicles from there. We have had our cars serviced at Nick Abraham. I've actually had six Nissans. Nick, thank you for being with me today. So oh, tell us, what's so special about Nick Abraham? Well, the big thing is we, everybody looks for the home run. We look for the base hit. We want to sell you a car, then we want to sell you another car. The other thing is a good deal starts with a good price, but it ends with good service. The service far outlasts the price. So I can tell you that because I always get my oil changed. Everything is taken care of. I love the details. You know what's even more special? The staff 
at Nick Abraham have been there for how many years? We've had people that have been there for the whole 28 years. For all 28 years? Yeah, we're, a lot of them are retiring now, but they've been there for a long time, and uh, we have a lot of longevity, and it's it, it's really good. You know who you're dealing with all the time. And so Nick not only has Nissan, but you have Ford? Buick and GMC. And so can you imagine, and I love the new Fords. I'll tell you what, Ford has done a lot to improve the quality of the vehicle. They're second to none, aren't they? Second to none right now. And I know that uh, the Buick itself, they're going for all generations. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, you, know, you can get a vehicle anywhere, but you want service, you want easy access, you want longevity, you want somebody that you know with confidence. I mean, Nick has been around for a long time, almost has been around as long time as I've been practicing. So if you need a, a new vehicle, where do you think they should go? Well, either to the Ford store, the Buick store, or the Nissan store. So you could go anywhere, Illyria, Sheffield, easy access all over northern Ohio. Stop by there today, I promise you, you'll be glad you did. Hello, this is Dr. Bob and Debbie DiMaria. Welcome once again to a very exciting half hour of health program. I'll tell you what, this whole issue of trans fat just is amazing to me because of the rules and the regulations. Here's what I want you to get. If you see zero grams trans fat on the front of a package, you turn it over, you look at the nutrition facts, you look at the ingredients, and if you see partially hydrogenated oils, You've been duped, but you haven't been duped because you just listened to Dr. Bob and you're just going to very kindly and gently put the package down. Just because it says zero grams trans fat does not mean it's safe. It just means, according to the label rules, that it has zero grams trans fat per serving one half gram. Okay, Dr. Bob, what are you telling me exactly? Let's say it's a box of cookies. Let's say that one cookie, or a box of cookies, and a serving is one cookie. It can even be two cookies, because they play games with it. So if you have, because we have had people on the program with us before, that they'll eat the whole box in a weekend. So if you had two of those cookies, you have had your past limit of trans fat. Now remember what I said, one gram of trans fat, one gram will increase your chance of a heart disease 20%. Yeah. Now what's very frightening about this whole deal with trans fat, it throws off brain function. So we've been talking about dementia and Alzheimer's and um, ADHD and depression and anxiety. Your emotional health is totally dependent on the oil that you have inside of your body. You see, some of you need an oil change. You know how you change your oil filter? Well, some of you need to make a mental oil change. I'll, I'm going to share this with you. Pay attention. I know you are. Avocados. Avocados have a fat in it called a monounsaturated fat. It's the same fat as olive oil. Avocados have a protein in it called carnitine. Carnitine is for cognitive behavior, so you're remembering. Now, I've done a lot of study on Alzheimer's. Do you want to know what else is causing Alzheimer's? Digestive AIDS. What's that, Dr. Bob? Prilosec, Tagament, Nexium. Really? Yeah, because they interfere with protein metabolism. They've done studies even with medications can cause Alzheimer's and dementia. So I want you to be aware that these proton pump inhibitors alter digestion. I would not take any item, any drug that's going to throw your digestion off because it, it causes malabsorption syndromes inside of your body. I want you to start taking at least one tablespoon of flax oil every day per 100 pounds. Now here is something that's really significant. I'm going to scare you a little bit because if you are doing exactly what your mom and dad were doing, same pattern, 
same recipe box, going to the same place, eating the same food, drinking the same drinks, you're going to get what they have. See, a fool is a person who does the same thing and expects different results. But here is the good news. You know what the good news is? We can do an essential fatty acid blood spot test to you. We can send you a kit anywhere in the world right now. You can do your own test. We can send it to the lab and this is what we're looking for. We're looking for something called alpha linolenic acid. What is that? That's the oil that makes DHA. Comes from flax oil. We're also going to check DHA. If your DHA is low, if your ALA is low and your trans fat is high, you have the potential to have dementia, Alzheimer's, anxiety, and depression. But the real good news, you can change it in a heartbeat. I gotta do is change what you're eating. And if you want to have french fries, go ahead and eat them. But bake them or use a different kind of oil like coconut oil or rice oil. So we're not trying to take everything away. We're just trying to have you reposition your brain. Repositioning, that's what it is. And Dr. Um, Bob, it's just listening uh, to what your body wants and then figuring out a healthy alternative. Now, you said something very interesting and it talked about finding out about their fats. What kind of good oils does your body have? Well, I just want to throw this out there because it's very important that when any time there's been like a shooting in school or somebody has done something off the wall, that it has gone back to a lot of the findings is they didn't have the correct oils in their body. So people cannot just be depressed but they can also have rage, Dr. Bob. It could be a, an effect of rage. So how many of you out there have in your own right, driving down the car, you have road rage? Could be the fat you're eating. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting you bring that up because a part of my studies with my Doctor of Natural Health degree is I took a class in Chinese medicine. And the liver, which I'm holding this oil filter in my hand right now, is the organ that's associated with anger. So if your liver is compromised, it could cause the emotion of anger. See, your heart is for love and joy, your lungs are for sadness, and kidney is for sorrow. So you have an organ emotion involvement. So what food put you put in your body can affect your emotions exactly what Debbie is saying. See, it's one big puzzle. But this whole part of emotions is significant. Now let me share a couple other thoughts for some of you. Besides oil, do you cry easy? I know some of you cry easy. It's probably one of the most common body signals that I see in my practice. People who cry easy usually need B vitamins. It's B as in Bravo. B vitamins. Guess what takes B vitamins out of your body? Of course, sugar and stress. Do you have sore muscles when you exercise? a need for B vitamins. The mosquitoes like you, a need for B vitamins. Brown rice, great source of B vitamins. You've taken an antibiotic the last six months or so, your whole, your whole B vitamin scenario has been upset. Now, along this program today, we talked about what you eat becomes you. Sugar takes minerals out of your body. It takes vitamins out of your body. So your body needs vitamins and minerals to take the food you eat to make the long chain fat called DHA. Debbie and I take oils. One of the oils that I take is called anchovy and sardine oil. Now listen here. We stop promoting salmon oil and some of the larger fish oils because of the fat. See, toxins are held in fat. And what we're learning along the way, if you eat fatty fish that are loaded with toxins, whatever the fish ate, you're going to eat. We don't promote farm-raised fish. I don't promote farm-raised salmon. I've just read a very interesting article about salmon. I know that we have this issue today in the world about having enough food for the planet, so we're doing farm-raised fish. I think it's just a part of how they're manipulating the mindsets of Americans. I'd rather have you eat no fish. If you can't get wild salmon, you don't eat any kind of salmon at all. I'm just trying to help you. So we use an oil called Bio Omega-3, which is anchovy and sardine-based oil. 
They're smaller fish, less fat. Now, this whole trans fat can affect your emotions, it can affect depression, anxiety. Two other things before we sign off tonight. Trans fat can increase your weight 7%. That means if you eat trans fat, because they did studies with primates, primates are monkeys, they fed a group of olive oil, a group of trans fat after seven years. The monkeys ate the trans fat were 7% heavier. That means if you have a child right now that's eating at the National School Lunch Program, 31 million kids ate at the National School Lunch Program today. Trans fats in their diet. Why do you think we have chubby kids? Because they're eating a lot of trans fat. And then, there's another thought. See, margarine was developed years ago to be a substitute for butter. Everybody thought it was healthy because it didn't have cholesterol in it. In Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide, I want you to know this. Margarine can raise your cholesterol. It causes inflammation in your body. I'd rather have you use olive oil, coconut oil, or avocados as your substitute for margarine inside of your body. Now, years ago, um, when Debbie and I were doing the research for this book, what we found is kids who eat trans fat have altered normal fat metabolism in their body. What we learned along the way is it's snack foods. It's convenience foods. So I need you all to become very label savvy. Exactly what Debbie said. You look at the front label, if it says zero grams trans fat, gently put it down. Be aware of what's in your peanut butter. I know so many of you eat commercial grade peanut butter. If you're going to eat fries, you make your own fries at home. I need you to become engaging in what you're doing. Now, we see people from all over the world. We happen to practice in Northern Ohio. If you have a health issue, you're concerned about Alzheimer's or dementia, call our office. We all